Children, is it okay to dismiss them to the Joy Zone? Joy Zone bound children, I think you're going to be working on the Christmas program back there today. Come on, Pastor.
was someone's motto. This is what they said. I will guide my thoughts. I will not let my thoughts guide me. Now that ain't real bad now, is it? But the Bible tells us to take every thought captive. So if I was letting my thoughts guide me, I'd be in big trouble. Well, if I was even guiding my thoughts, sometimes I'd... I, I think I would drive an extra 10 miles to stay off of Bridge Street. Because you almost... I was going to say lose your... Uh, You know, I hate traffic, but when I go on Bridge Street, I immediately become Mario. <laughs> or Frogger, for those of you who are older, okay, I'm like, doo -doo 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 Man, 
should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Magi, the wise men, and how they follow the star. What are you searching for? What are you searching for? Take your Bible, turn to Matthew. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. Just one. <clears throat> you pick out one. 
Uh, the other night, I was driving. Uh, when I left, it was dark. The moon was on one side. When I was driving home, the, the moon had changed position in the sky. I thought, isn't that amazing? That's God. Okay? That's the way God moves. So, when you go out, try to follow one star. Now, we can see a comet coming from time to time, and, and just think about these magi, these wise men, searching the scriptures and being foretold that the, the Messiah was going to be born in Bethlehem. So they follow this one star out of the multitude of stars in the sky, and they're following that direction.
Another guy said, keep your wife just singing and keep that toe of hers just tapping. I said, how do I keep her singing? I don't play the instruments. How do you treat your spouse? searching for peace. How about searching for an eternal home in heaven? Okay. It's right here. It, it's, it's right here. Uh, it, 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 we just got to be searching it out. The problem is we want step-by-step uh, uh, -step instruction. Kind of 
might be looking for a Savior. You might be looking for this Messiah. You might be looking for how this whole Christianity thing's working out. And you might be like the Magi coming in and saying, I got some questions. Where is he at? How do I find him? How do you guys live? What's going on? What do I need to do? That's okay. Ask questions. How do you have peace? How do you have peace? I swear to you, I promise, I'm swearing to you, I promise, I promise you, listen, I promise, let's do it. Trisha and I would not be married if it wasn't for God. Amen. We wouldn't be married today if it wasn't for God's work. Now we've struggled from time to time, but I want to tell you the last, we've been married about 33 years, yeah. You thought, huh? Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right. 33 going on 34. And I want to tell you, you want to know when we had problems in the marriage? When I wasn't in church, and I should be. When we, leader of the family, right? If I wasn't in God's word, basically searching for the Holy Spirit, being guided by Him. says here. And Jesus again spoke to them, saying this. This is Jesus talking. He says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. <coughs> you ever walk through the darkness? to find that one little bed leg that sticks down and you kick that with your toe you say praise God I should have to you right now because that pinky sticking out over this way <laughs> Week, Mark. I love Christmas. I don't, <coughs> don't even have a Christmas tree yet, but I love Christmas. Uh, we don't have, Trisha and I, like I said, we've been married 33 years. Thanks for asking. Uh, but anyway, we always put something on top uh, over the, the years that we put the tree up. Uh, mostly it's an angel. It's a picture of me. <laughs>
meantime, we had a star. Star on top. The star that lights the way. And Christmas isn't about the guy in the red suit. It's about the baby in the manger. The baby in the manger who grew to be a, a, a man, lived a sinless life, and then died on the cross for our sins, your sins, my sins. That's what Christmas is about. That's why I love Christmas. I, 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 I love it. What's the top of your tree? They had seen in the east went on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. I'm telling you, we can search and find anything we want instantly. We got the power at our fingertips to find all kinds of things. But Shouldn't we be following the star? Because I promise you, it will lead you right to where you need to be. When you get into God's word, it's going to lead you to where you need to be. Tonight, do me a favor. Go outside, look up at the sky, and pick a star. Try to pick one, go back inside, go back out, ten minutes later, find that star. That's Jesus said this, that he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. Today, you might be searching for the Messiah. You might be searching for a Savior. You might be searching for peace. You might be searching for anything to get you through life. but I can't imagine not doing it without Christ in my life. Are you searching? Are you searching for a Savior? Do you know Jesus?
I want to tell you the way we do things here. We give an open invitation for anyone to trust Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. To follow the star. To have the Messiah. Have a Savior in their life. To have eternal destiny of heaven. And come forward and say, hey, I want to trust Jesus Christ. I want to be a believer. How do you want to say it? We'll have someone to take you to another room and show you what God's word says and let you make the decision. Maybe you're looking for a church home. We'd love to have you be a part of this church. Just come forward and say, hey, I want to be a part of this church. I want to serve God right here. We'll be having baptisms next week. We sat by a letter, baptism statement. Just come forward about someone walk into another room, ask you some questions, fill out some paper. Maybe you want to come to the altar and pray. Because you know what? Church, we, we've talked about this a lot here the last three months, six months. Too much of the world is coming in the church. Time for the world, the church to go out of the world. Amen. Amen. We need to get back into the instruction. You know what? And I, when I reference this, we need to go take the instructions back out and look at it. What's God speaking to you today? Father God, I come to you right now and say so much for you.